Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and today we are continuing our discussion about estrogen and how estrogen is produced in the body and today especially we are going to be focusing on peripheral aromatization which is the process of producing estrogen from androgens um, in the peripheral tissues such as uh, adipose tissue, blood vessels, bone, the brain, etc. All these tissues that have the necessary enzymes to make estrogen will do so um, after taking androgens from the adrenal cortex. So uh, we are going to be talking a lot about the adrenal gland today as well, uh, but I have condensed this down into um, a shorter uh, kind of pathway here. So if anything does not make sense or you are not familiar with the adrenal gland, please go back and watch my multiple videos that I have made on the adrenal gland because we are skipping over a lot of steps here because they are not really important to understand estrogen production. Um, so once again, looking at this image, we have cholesterol that is converted to pregnenolone, um, which is converted to progesterone, blah, 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 aldosterone. Um, sim similarly, we have cortisol, uh, but we really care today about DHEA, androstenedione, and testosterone because these are our androgens. So DHEA is going to be converted to androstenedione by 3-beta-hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase, and then androstenedione will be converted by 17-beta-hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase to testosterone. And then this next compound is something that we have seen before in my uh, embryology videos, and it is not an estrogen, but I am including it here because we do have peripheral conversion of testosterone to DHT via 5-alpha reductase. So this is something that will also happen um, elsewhere in the body uh, in people who have 5-alpha reductase. Um, but I'm just throwing this in here. It's not important to the estrogen pathway, but just so you know, we do get DHT out of this pathway. Um, and then we have androstenedione is going to be our primary precursor to estrogens um, in production from the adrenal cortex. So we have androstenedione, which is going to leave the adrenal gland, and it is going to be converted by aromatase to estrone. And if you remember, estrone is um, not the most potent, but not the least potent form of estrogen. It's kind of in the middle. It's our estrogen of menopause. And um, it is, if you remember, it is peripherally converted, as we can see here, by aromatase. Um, and then we have testosterone can also, if it is not being turned into DHT by 5-alpha reductase, it can also be converted by aromatase to estradiol. And if you remember, estradiol is the most potent form of estrogen. It is what we typically think of when we think of feminizing hormones. Um, and so we do have estradiol that is produced from peripheral conversion of testosterone. Granted, this is not going to be very high because most of the testosterone is going to pre be produced either in the testes um, in someone who is assigned male, or uh, it'd be produced by the theca cells in the ovary of someone who has ovaries. Uh, so this is not a very common step that we'd see in this pathway. So don't don't look at this and say, oh, we produce a significant amount of estradiol from the adrenal gland. That is not the case. This is a very minor step. Primarily what we are producing from the adrenal gland is androstenedione. And so the primary estrogen that we are going to produce uh, in peripheral aromatization is estrone. And so this is why we don't see as many feminizing effects in somebody who doesn't have ovaries because this estradiol pathway from testosterone primarily happens in uh, the ovaries and a little bit in the testes as well. Um, and then we can have some uh, conversion from estrone to estradiol. Um, and this is done by 17 beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase. As you can see, this is the same enzyme that converts androstenedione to testosterone. And estrone and estradiol are actually, uh, they can be converted both directions. So estrone can be converted by 17-beta HSD to estradiol, and likewise estradiol can be converted back to estrone by 17-beta HSD. And so this is just kind of our intro to our estrogen balance in the body. Um, next video, we're probably going to be talking about the ovaries and how we produce estrogen in the ovaries. So I hope that everything is kind of cleared up about peripheral aromatization, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your questions and comments down below. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all in the next one.